Well, I'd like to say that I consider myself very blessed, very uh, fortunate to be um, to have Prabhuji as my mentor, my guide, and also a friend. Uh, this is a wonderful book, Icons of Grace, written by Prabhuji, which I have read. It speaks about uh, the lives of 21 very illustrious saints of our country, and um, it's a book which is which truly motivates you to be more devotional, um, just through the lives of all these wonderful people. And uh, yeah, Prabhuji, it's an amazing book. Thank you for sharing this with us. <laughs> uh, and ma'am, what, what, what was the best part of this book? If you want to speak something about related to this book, what was the best part? Uh, I think all the stories which were very inspirational, they were pretty much an eye-opener. There were a lot of saints that I personally did not know about. Um, of course, the popular ones, uh, Mirabai Ji and uh, Santukaram, we all have heard about, we've studied about them ever since we were little. but. There were a lot of saints that uh, we had not heard about and their lives are just so beautiful. And uh, Prabhuji has explained about their lives and their devotion beautifully. Uh, so, Prabhuji, what do you want to say about the book? Uh, why you want uh, you people to uh, read this book? See, this is uh, India is known for spirituality. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, people have forgotten those who have given this spiritual culture to us. So this is a book which reminds us of our spiritual legacy and uh, at the younger level the this book is specially I'm targeting the youth because that's where we need to preserve our spiritual heritage and if spiritual culture spiritual foundation is lost then all kinds of problems pop up in our life especially dealing with the mental health challenges so if they can learn to connect with the divine through the stories mentioned in the book the saints automatically that will be taken care of and simultaneously we'll end up preserving our spiritual legacy uh, because uh, this is India's greatest wealth and even till date people look up to India when it comes to spirituality. So they are running towards India but we end up running towards the West. So it's just an attempt to bring them back to their roots. If they're string strongly rooted in their spiritual culture, they'll be able to scale heights in their life. And as we all know your mom to be, what is the first thing you want to teach your uh, kid and what is the first thing, uh, if we see India, what is the first temple you would like to visit? Wow, there are so many temples. It's, it's, <laughs> it's difficult to answer this one. Um, I have been going to temples all my life and um, uh, well, the first would definitely be the Iskon Mandira Chapati because it's closest to my house <laughs> and Prabhuji is there and he'll, he'll obviously bless my baby. Uh, but, and the first thing that I'd like to teach my child I guess I'd put my child to sleep on the Maha Mantra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I would make that a part of my baby's life. Thank you. From so a much. very young age on. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.